Excuse my hair children, cause do y'all see the, I don't know, this is just a fluffy, I, put, I use something different in my hair and it just did not work out for me. It's just not working out. So I gotta fix it somehow. But anyway, I wanted to play with what I have been waiting for forever. And let's just talk about it. So today we're gonna to be talking about the whale song by Menagerie Cosmetics. I've waited for this, I've waited, I've waited, I've waited, and I finally got it. And I am so happy to talk about it. So if you would like to hear my first impressions of it, see how I did this look, cause yes, baby, yes. I gotta say, I am, I just stayed there for y'all so y'all could really get a good look at it. Let's do it again. Okay, so anyway, if you would like to hear about the whale song, my thoughts on it, don't go anywhere. Okay, so now let's talk about the whale song. This is by Menagerie Cosmetics. First off, let's look at that packaging. The packaging is so beautiful, and I really, that's the first thing that always attracts me to it. Now, when I saw this and they were talking about doing a blue palette, I was so excited because, of course, Y'all know I've been into this blue green vibe for the whole year. So before I open it up, let me just talk about the story of the whale song. So first off, Menagerie Cosmetics, of course, used to be Makeup Monsters. They have since rebranded, which I love the rebrand. I know people people really don't like change, but I understand the change from the, from the standpoint from a visual and a product um, line. It is it's so much better because Menagerie says, you know, nature is about you know animals and nature and so they can pull from so many sources to create beautiful and stunning work all right so with that being said this is the whale song i was waiting for it i was waiting for it there was a moment when the owner and i can't think of her name right now you know was upset she felt like she couldn't get this out because of not getting enough support you know customer support orders and that's how we support a brand is through orders and she wasn't getting enough and at first she was not going she felt like she was not going to be able to make this happen and you know i did send an email uh, a message on ig i was really concerned and everything because to be quite honest I, I i was i just wanted to see what it was going to look like in the flesh so with so with all that going on you know all this you know she you know with all of the people that were talking about it and the feedback they decided to do it they did lower the price for it and so they did go forward with the pre-order i was lucky enough to get into that first pre-order right here yay and that was in april for real it was april 1st i can see on my order i ordered this april 1st now they you know they one thing i was they did have many hiccups along the way i will say this they're very open and honest and transparent so we when they it was a look look like in the beginning that it was going to be a little bit it was going to take a little bit longer they let everybody know now it was not about the work the 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 um the product it was about the packaging and getting this this beautiful packaging done from what i what i understand so they were saying they were having problems with the manufacturer and everything and they were waiting to get it done then it, all of a sudden they came back and said that they were basically scammed by somebody who worked in the company and they got them to pay this money and they wound up finding out that there was actually no order they were waiting for this order and the company said they didn't have it but somebody was using a company email so clearly it was somebody in the company but anyway so they wound up losing that money they wound up having to find a new manufacturer for the packaging and so of course that took time like i've always said when we were talking about this whole other issue jh um you can't you when you find a new manufacturer it's not like they're going to put you in the top of the queue no you have to wait you have to wait your turn and so they had to wait their turn with their new manufacturer and finally i have it right here now the other thing was once they found out about this issue they did say that they um to to you know thank us you know for our you know our patience you could either cancel your order i think they said you could cancel your order or they were going to give you two free liquid lipsticks 
I refuse liquid lipsticks. I did not get any. And the reason why I did that is because I feel like this, they're a small business. It was not their fault. They were very transparent. They were very quick to let me know what was going on. So it wasn't like I had to call them, you know, send them emails, yo, what's going on? They were very open and quick to tell what was going on. So because of that, I'm not going to take anything extra from you. I, I appreciate them saying they would give it to me, but I didn't get any. Because, of course, uh, if Menagerie, if girlfriend, girlfriend, if you watch this video, I'm going to need you to, I, I would love for you to start doing tube lipsticks. Get rid of them liquid lipsticks. Girl, tube, the tube lipsticks is where it's at now. And a couple of lip glosses would be just absolutely just absolutely glorious i'm just saying i'm just saying so now let's get to the palette oh, i'm gonna show it to you right now she is pretty now what i want to do is i'm gonna try to find the original pictures of you know before they had the shadows in there to see does it actually match so I'm going to put this down here and if I can find it the that will be above it so we can see how they look together um, so you can see this one and then you can see that the um, the mock-up pictures now what I will say when I opened it up it was a little surprising to me um, but after I sat with it for a few minutes, I was okay with it. Um, the surprising thing was this one right here, which is pearl, this beautiful pearl color um, shimmer. And I just didn't expect it because I was looking, you know, with the blues and the green palettes, you just don't, you, they normally kind of stay true to that to a certain extent. And this was such a um, rosy, goldy, pearly, sheeny color that I didn't think about it. But then as I kind of looked at the packaging, it made sense because they have that color in the packaging. And what I do want to say, I kind of noticed that, you know, when I really looked at a lot of the colors that are in here are kind of on the front of the packaging, which I am so happy for because so often companies will come out with some really bomb ass packaging and then you open it up and you like, but wait, but what? But huh? And then you're like, what? I don't know. No, no, no. That's not. That's not. This is not the dream that you sold me. This is not the dream. So, um, this, however, does. Now, I will say, when I look at it, it's a much. It's a very muted palette. Um, a lot of the blue green palettes are very vibrant, and I will be doing a comparison of the ones that I have to say which ones I really like, which ones I think will be good for you. But I just want to focus on this one now. So this one is a very muted um, color scheme. I really like, you know, this one is like more of a mustardy green, you know, yellowy green. And then this one right here. So when I opened it up, I was look, I was a look, being real. I was a little taken aback because I was like, wow, I don't know if I was look, I thought I it didn't, for some reason in my head, it wasn't the color scheme that I expected to a certain extent. But then when I really started looking at it, I was like, but you know what? She's real pretty. She's real pretty. And based on how many I have, I like it. Now, let me say the difference. This is a more muted blue green palette. I think this would be really good for somebody who wants to play with them, but is more of a neutral girl who wants to add a little blues and little greens have some to like play with in other looks now no I'm not saying that everybody's going to do these kind of looks you know but this will give you um, this will give you a good base of these colors if you don't have them in your collection already and if you were curious you know curious to play with them but were like the other blue green kind of palettes were too bright were too vibrant this is a really nice one. I really, I like it. I am going to put the swatches up here because I did swatch them on my arm. So here's the picture of them. When I swatched them, I was so impressed because they were so intense. I mean, the colors are so intense. Even for the fact that they are a little muted. They're, you know, when I, they were just buttery. They were soft. You know, the vibrancy is still there, even though they are a step down from some of the other ones. You know, um, they're not quite as um, bright, but they're still vibrant in their own way. Now, when I did this look, let me just tell y'all, I was a little, I was, I was, uh, I wasn't expecting it to be as easy as it was. I also 
had to be careful because they are very pigmented they are super pigmented so don't you want to go in you got to tap the brush you got to take some of it off because if you don't you will come out with the mimi of uh, drew carey mimi look so but when i was playing with them and using them they just blended so beautifully together it was so easy to to you know come together the look and the shimmers now let me tell you honestly i haven't used everything so of course it's the first impression when i come back and do all of my blue green palettes i will do a full review you know i will go further i'm sorry i got an itch i will go further into the other colors but these are the ones that i used i use this little quad right here pretty much that's all i use for the lid and then in the bottom I used this one and then I used, did I use this one? I think I used this one on the lid on the, on the, to create the uh, lower lash line. And let me tell you, all of the mattes, like I said, the mattes are what I expect from them because this isn't my first Menagerie Cosmetics. I actually own all of their palettes. And, and so the expectation was there, but I'm going to tell you one thing. Everybody loves Juvia's Place. Um, shimmers and everybody loves them but I'm gonna tell you right here these rival if you love Juvia's Place shimmers and you think they are the best ever these rival them I have this on my lid I did not spray a brush I did not tap it on my fingers I used a dry brush and I you know if you know me I like well if even if you don't if you're new to me I like to the very first time that I use shimmers in a palette I usually do a dry brush because I want to see do they have any vibrancy without you having to build it up and let me tell you these right here are gorgeous and so this right here is called fluke is the one I use and it's just like boom I mean just look at that look at how vibrant that color is so just imagine if you put a um, you know you you spray it or you tap it in with your finger, how incredibly vibrant. Matter of fact, let's just do a little something. Let's just let's just do a little something extra. Okay, did y'all see that? Let's just add a little more to it. Just to give it a little extra zhuzh, you know? So when I when I got this and when I really played with that, was like I yes this was a long process yes for many people I know I'm not a huge person for the long process let me just be honest um but it was worth it for me it really was I'm not disappointed I'm not feeling like damn I took it took this long and this is what I got I'm really really super happy with this I can't I'm gonna continue to play with it I'm gonna like make a few more looks like with this quad up in here I think I'm gonna do something and play with these deep deep dark shimmers right here and maybe do something interesting with that I'm really loving this palette all right so yes i'm a fangirl of menagerie cosmetics also okay i i have my fangirl i have my fangirl companies even though they don't know i exist even though i'm nothing to them i love their stuff and i will talk about them and i will buy you know i will order when they come out which they're talking about doing another couple of palettes and i can't wait but girlfriend if you watch this video i'm telling you right now tube lipsticks and lip glosses would be love I'm just I'm just putting it out there. All right, so let me know if you've gotten the whale song, if you're thinking about it, have I have I made you have I made you intrigued with the whale song and you're thinking about when they do the restock, which I think is coming up. It's uh, the well the restock I saw them mention on their IG that it will be in this week, I think. So are you intrigued? Do you want the whale song now? And before and you know, as always, let's go ahead and check out how I did this look. All right, so thanks a lot for hanging out with me. Let's go ahead and watch this come to life. And no, let's not talk about the hair. Let's not talk about my bozo hair right now. Leave the bozo hair alone. She's doing something. I'm going to claim her and own her right now. And that's what you should always do. No matter what happens, claim and own it, and you can rock it. Okay, so I'm rocking the bozo. See you in a minute. All right, so at that moment was when I noticed that my dress actually um, matched the cover and it was not a plan. So now, like I said, I'm using this quad right there. Um, so the first color, uh, change my mind. Okay, so the first color I'm gonna use is Dive and I'm putting that in my crease area right there in the middle. 
So I started in the middle uh, just to make, cause I wanted this to be, this is kind of like the more, the, the focal color of this whole look. And as you can see, this is super, super easy to uh, get so vibrant. You know, it really just built itself. All right, so as always, I have to pull my, uh, open up my eye on the left side because there's a slight fold in the corner. So I always do that to make sure that I don't miss any spaces and it uh, gets applied um, smoothly on the same and evenly on the left as it does on the right. All right, so now I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm just uh, blending out the top so it won't be such a harsh line. Next up is kelp, and it's just this gorgeous green, you know, green, and I'm using that on the top, um, right above the dye, the blue, the dye color, to give it a nice blend and give it a beautiful transition. Um, so I wanted it to have like a blue-green effect, so that's why I went with the dye right there. I mean the kelp on the top. Oh, y'all know I gotta drink my water. I'm up to like 64 ounces right now. I need, need to drink two more glasses. All right, so now I'm going to take Reef, which is that deeper green, and I'm just going to pop it into the outer V because I just wanted to deepen up the, the corner, but I, I don't want it too dark. I wanted to give it a kind of fresh, more um, brighter um, color as opposed to using the deepest green in the palette. I went with the mid, the mid uh, green. So I'm taking my time building up that green and I just want to make sure I have a nice, um, you know, I wanted to make sure that it, it was, um, you know, well, you know, the depth was there and, and blend it well, because, you know, when you're playing with bright colors, you really do want to make sure you have a good blend because it can go all types of wrong with just stripes of color on your eye. All right, so I'm back. I did my, I cleaned up my lid with a, you know, a little cut crease kind of vibe. And this is when I start using Fluke, which is that beautiful green. Now you can see right there when I'm putting it on how gorgeous, look at how gorgeous and stunning that is. That is stunning. And yes, I said it's stunning. And the thing about their shimmers are they're very, they're, they're like a, they're kind of like a thick shimmer, but not too thick. Like it's like when you touch them, they feel thick in the pan, but they, you know, they are very easy to work with and they, um, they get on the brush really easy. You don't have to like, you know, go through anything trying to dig it out the color. Cause you know how sometimes, um, some shadows are really hard to get out and you try and you like working really hard to get them on your brush. These just, you know, they just, they just melt onto your brush so easy. And so now I'm just gonna start doing some blending, just blending the edges to make sure that everything flows really well around there. So now I'm using Dive 
and not a lot of it, just enough to blend out those edges to make sure that the, you know, it all flows together well. Then I'm gonna take that dive, I'm sorry, the reef, which is the deeper green, and just push it into the edges to make sure that, you know, I get that done so that the color is all complete in there. So now I'm gonna keep working on blending um, the lids and make sure that it looks seamless, as, as seamless as I can make it. And then I'll come back and show you the finished look. See you in a, in a second or two. All right, so here is the final look. Baby, I love it. All right, but not right now, I'm about to serve y'all face. I know y'all weren't expecting all this juicy face goodness. All right, but I'm serving it to the nation, baby. All right, I, let me know what you think of the this green goddess uh, mermaidy look. And if you plan on getting the whale song, like I said. So as always, be bold, be brave, and be, as I just said, motherfucking free. All right, see you later.